We are just days away from that day of love. Some of you are getting ready. Some of you are already ready. Some of you are probably freaking out. So don't worry. If you're freaking out, we've got answers for you on how you can make it special for that special someone. We've got our friends Don, Janet, and Kate. Together, they are the Jack's Best Sweet Shop winners from the Southern Dessert Plate. Thank you so much for coming on. And yeah. we are talking about finding a way to sweeten things up. Anybody can go to the store and buy something and give it to their loved one. But to be able to show, hey, look, I took some time. I got out of my comfort zone and I baked and I made this. That goes a long way. Yeah. Um, so what we kind of suggest, if you want to do something from home, we're doing something that we're selling in the, in the bakery, but you can easily do it at home. It's just using sugar cookies, um, some royal icing, um, and a cupcake. Um, and we're this making... is the finished product of All what right, we're going to do. All right, there you go. Oh, look um, at that. I don't know if you can see. It's, a, it's what we call our bakery bouquet. Yeah, um, so we I see it. That's beautiful. done sugar cookies, cut out. Um, we made royal icing. You can make any royal icing that you, you, know, you know of at, that you have at home. Um, and then we, we have a, a way to kind of know the consistency. Sure. Um, the consistency of royal icing... The, the, You're when saying you royal, make, royal, like king and queen. Like king and okay, queen. Right. Royal icing, when you make it, kind of looks like this when, it come, when you mm -hmm. get the first part of it done. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to have something that you're going to outline your cookie and then something that you're going to flood your cookie. We all hear that, outline and flood, but we don't know what you it means. Flood it. You flood okay. it. Okay, right. all right. So Never the heard that before. <laughs> the outline of your um cookie, you're going to use an icing that looks just like this. And it's this icing, just add a little bit, a few drops of water until you get okay. to, the, to the consistency of maybe toothpaste. Sure. Okay? And then your flood is a little bit less than that, and it gets to the consistency of honey. Okay. Okay? So if you use that, you know, that kind of ratio, you'll get a really nice smooth cookie. You can write on your cookie with the, with the, um, the flood icing. And it'll blend easily into your cookie. So you're doing it one, two, three Correct. in that order. Okay, well, from... actually, no. You're going to outline your cookie first. Okay. And then you're going to, so you use that toothpaste consistency. You're going to flood. And then what we did on some of our cookies was we used our royal icing the way it was, and we used that decorating icing. All right. And you use it just like that, and you can put it in a bag and pipe. Then we finish off with a cupcake. And so our cupcake is just a, I use a buttercream. And we use a tip 81. It's a Wilton tip 81. Um, and then I just go around, and my hand's going to shake because I have to squeeze the bag. So you're going to see all that. But you just pull, push and pull and push, push and pull. pull. And each, you make it sound so easy. It, it, it <laughs> right. is. It is actually easy. It, you let the tip do the work. Okay? And not everyone's going to come out exactly the same because leaves and petals aren't all the same. Yeah. Um, and so you just keep pulling that around like that. And ultimately, you'll end up with a cupcake like this one right so in the middle of that here. about 100 times. Yeah, yeah, they, ta yeah. they take a little bit of time, <laughs> but it's creative. And that's exactly what we want to do for Valentine's Day is to show someone right. that our time, they, they, they're worth our time. My mom you know, always so, did something yeah, so. like that for us kids. So it was always, it was always good to see what, what she would come up with. So it I appreciate is. It's that. great. It's great. And then actually for Mother's Day, we're also thinking we can also swap out that little cup and put a Mother's Day cup in there that says Happy Mother's right. Day. So we, so we can, can customize it for to... any holiday, any right. holiday. And we also brought some things for you. I love it. Look at all this. We got the signature cake. We've got all of these. We've got the cannoli, of course, going back to my Italian roots. Well, yes. thank you so much. If people want to reach out to you and maybe come by and get some treats, maybe they don't have time to bake this week, where do they go? 4205 we're St. over John's in Avondale. Avenue. Yes, we're right at the corner of Herschel and St. John's, and uh, we're open Tuesday through Saturday. So, okay. uh, of course, if they can call ahead of time, that would be great and give us a chance to put things together. But uh, we would love people to walk in and come see what we have to offer. There you go. I'm going to see what you have to offer as we send this over to Lauren. Thank okay. you for coming in, ladies. Thanks, Thanks for having so us. Much.